All right, we're going to look at how to make a pie chart in Excel. So this data that we're looking at here represents approximately 1.5 million full-time first-year students enrolled in colleges and universities in 2013. And specifically, it's looking at what they plan to study or major in. The first thing we want to do when we look at making a pie chart is we want to make sure that our data adds up to 100%. So to do that, I'll have Excel calculate that by using the sum command. So sum is another word for um, adding things up. So I'm going to type equals the sum, and I'm going to open a parentheses. And then what I need to do is highlight all of those percents and press enter. So it adds up to 100.1%, so slightly more than 100. And that's most likely due to rounding error. So if those percentages here weren't exactly one decimal place, in there's a little bit of rounding that went on that caused a little bit of error. So it's still okay to proceed with making a pie chart. So to make the pie chart, we want to highlight both the categories and the percents. So we'll highlight all of those. And on Excel, we're going to choose the insert ribbon. And on the insert ribbon, there's a choice for pie charts here. There's also a choice uh, for recommended charts. Either one will work. If you're using the recommended charts, I would go to the all charts, and then there's a list of everything pretty much that Excel has. We'll choose pie. And we're looking for a nice, uh, simple 2D pie chart. That's what we have here. And I want to change this title so it's something that makes a little more sense. So we'll call this college and university majors. And we'll put 2013 on, year, on there since that was the year. And then this is a lot of pie slices. So what I'd like to do is instead of having a legend at the bottom, I want next to each pie piece to have a label and their percent. So to change that, I'll click on my graph. And up here, there's these chart tools at the very top of the page, and I want the design one. And I'll click on Add Chart Element. So it's that left-hand corner. I'll start by changing the labels. So there's a number of different choices under the data labels. We want the data call out. So you'll notice that that puts a label and the percent next to each one. And then that means I can get rid of this legend at the bottom. So I'll go back to add chart element. That's the legend option and I'll choose none. Okay, so that gives me my pie chart with a nice title and next to each slice is a label with its percentage. So that is one way of doing pie charts in Excel.